How are you? Welcome back. We are back in uh, Might and Magic 6, this retro play. We're uh, picking up where we left off, right here in the front of clearing out uh, the guards in front of the Dragoon's Keep. Uh, we're not going in there right, right this minute, but we are still um, working on clearing out all of the area around here. So, trying to get some... Um, uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? We want to do some air magic, shield, and we want to cast bless. So right now my buff skills don't, my buff spells don't really last that long, but we're working on that. We're working on that. All right. So while those guys are shooting at the hill, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill take out some of these guys oh wow what did I do did I just take a flying leap off of the uh... <laughs> okay um, we're going to do a little bit of, uh, of uh, computer magic here it's not quite a spell that my wizard has but it's called it's called it's a spell called reload <laughs> oh no no I don't have that reload Oh, okay. So we are going. We are actually going to have to beat feet back to the. Because I took a flying leap off the mountain and injured my guys. Now I gotta go, and rest up again. Sorry about that, fellas. So uh, if you are going to play some might and magic in the future, there is fall damage. <laughs> don't, don't have your guys make a flying uh flying leap off of the side of a mountain it will damage them if not kill them it's not this is not skyrim <laughs> well i guess you could only do that with the horse when you did that with skyrim so all right so last time we were playing uh whenever i went over here to this inn and tried to rest up the game froze on me so i'm going to go to the inn i'm going to save before we try to try to sleep there and then hopefully if it does mess up again on us we won't have we won't have lost that much all right so here it is i don't go to the fur the other you're probably wondering why i skipped the one that uh, kelly there's one right by the bridge uh yeah that one's real expensive uh Victor's Hall, he wants 72, 72 gold a night. That's highway robbery. So, I'm cheap. <laughs> nice I will stay here with Kathy, the innkeeper, at the Echoing Whisper. Have a nice night. All right. All healed up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and save again. And we'll continue on with our quest. So I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is, um, I've got enough. I'm level 17 right now. I've got enough for. Am I right? Level. What level? Okay, we've got enough for level 17. So what I'm trying to do is clear out everybody here, and hopefully that'll give us enough for level 18 as well. I'm trying to get these guys to level 20 before um, I start upgrading their uh, their class titles. Uh, paladins can become crusaders, then heroes. Uh, you know, uh, archers are you know battle mages and all that kind of stuff. Um, but when you do that, it their the the cost of training them at the trainer. Uh, of leveling them up costs a lot more, so I'm trying to I'm trying to mitigate that. Oops, that's not the skill that I wanted to do. Because uh, I I did a I one of my earlier playthroughs long ago. I did this, uh, you know, I just upgraded them in quick concession, uh, quick succession, and made them real powerful. Uh, but I was I was only up around like level 35 or something like that, and it was it was costing like tens of thousands of gold to train up to the next level and it was so um so i'm trying to avoid that this time let's go ahead and get us all our 
protection spells up before we go and uh, take on this lot. I think what we might try to do is just position ourselves here in this in this valley and then just shoot them as they come. All right, I think that's all the spells that we've got right now. So yeah, let's try that. Let's go down here to the valley. And then kind of position ourselves up here and see if we can just start picking guys off. Can't hit him. Him too, yeah, we can shoot him. So this is where we got into trouble that last time. <laughs> All right, let's move a little closer. Aggro those guys. I think there's two mages in this group. Let's see if we can take them out first. Long range shots. All right, maybe we can hit these guys now. Yeah, there we go. Cause he's just milling around over there, and I can't hit him. All right, got those guys. Let's go ahead and move up a little closer. Three mages and a and an archer. That eh, must have been the archer that was running. Only one don't one shot at her. All right, so there's some more guys over here. So let's. Wow. All right, well, let's just start picking them off. Still not hit those stinking mages. Already having to break out my healer. Let's give them a fireball in the face. Fireball to the face. I do not look forward to fighting the bigger uh, magic guys like the warlocks and the wizards and all of that later on. Oh, those guys are going to be a pain in the rear.
right, so pretty good there. Let's go ahead and heal up a bit. There's another group of thing of mobs down there. I wonder what those are. Let's just continue on with these uh messing around with these mages here. Why is it shooting the bush? <laughs> So they can hit us, but we can't hit them. Okay, uh, we're still out of their range. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys here. I see you guys over there on the left. I think I think the nope. The hill is not protecting us anymore. So let's go ahead and beat a hasty retreat. Let's get these guys back up into the green at least, and then we'll go back and finish off those last two. Couple of them trying to come over the hill there. are everywhere. It's like little ants running around. Let's see how many more fireballs do I have? I can cast two more. And these these guys' hitboxes is about three times the size of the actual model <laughs> or sprite, whatever I'm shooting at.
Let me see if I can send a fireball these guy at these guys. Hit them. Yeah, there we go. Let's give them one more. All right. Kill that guy. We're probably he's probably out of range now, so. All right. So, let's go back to before we come back come back over here and clean all these bodies up. Let's go back and rest up. Still got quite a few groups to <clears throat> to take out in this area. Our work is not done yet. You have to use those blue herbs sometimes in emergencies. They only give you a little bit of a, a little bit of MP back, but. Any little bit helps. Can get you out of a jam sometimes. So this game does get does have a pretty big Kind of a pretty big, uh, not, it's not a huge, I didn't notice it to be totally huge, but it does have a pretty, pretty sizable, uh, difficulty spike when you get to a certain point. So we will see. One time I did play this game with just with just a whole group of knights, and I think I had a cleric with them or something, so it was very limited magic. And they just trounced all over everything, pretty much. You could just run into a group of mobs and just just you know mow them down with you know, slice them down like like a like a lawnmower. But they you know. I did really great until I got to Silver Cove and had to deal with those <laughs> those diamond uh, gargoyles that are immune to weapon damage, <laughs> physical damage. Uh, I think I probably could have figured out a way to do it, but I just didn't mess with it <laughs> at the time. I think I got frustrated and started over with a different uh, group. But man, those guys could... <laughs> they could do a lot of damage. Against stuff that was vulnerable to physical damage. And I didn't even have them... Uh, I don't think I even had them uh, ranked all the way up to champions. They were, they were cavaliers still. Boy, they were. They were some damage dealers. Okay, there's some... Uh, there's some archers out there, so let's go ahead and take those guys out. We're just going to have us an artillery war here.
Oh, there's the fire archer. And even with this shield up, they do tons of damage. Good area of effect there. Mm. All right, they win for now. <laughs> Let's go back and heal up again. Man, those dudes can deal out some damage. I thought that shield would help me uh, stand in for a little while longer, but... And it didn't look like that... Uh, that runner healed it all, so when I go back, hopefully they will still be um, damaged. They'll, all of their damage will still be there. They won't have healed up any, which is a good thing. <laughs> that is a very good thing. In my book, anyway. This game's already hard enough. All right. So if you're wondering why I'm saving every time I go into the inn, it's because uh, last time we were playing, uh, I went I went to the inn to heal up, and the game froze. So it, it does it just randomly. I don't think it has anything to do with staying in the inn, per se, but, uh, but it does just kind of randomly freeze on me. I'll have to go back and check. So I've got, I've got most of my magic guys are um, up to expert level now. So I got to go run around and find out what they need for master. Uh, having, having to go, go through, through all, all these spells one by one. Where's the where's the fire archer? Master Archer Archer. There she is.
She's about to fireball us. No, oh, she just did a uh, flame arrow. Come on, hit her. Only need a couple more shots on her. Man, they've been peppering my cleric. Didn't even notice him get down that far. Quit missing, guys. Come on. That's like five times in a row. There we go. Alright, got all those guys. I think this is Earthric's tomb over here. Tomb of Earthric the Mad. Yeah, Tomb of Earthric the Mad. We'll go in there later. <laughs> we're still, uh, still working on clearing out this area, so we're not going to worry about that for now. We'll come back and do the dungeons. I'm going to try... I'd like to get to up to, up to around level... T at least 18. Maybe level 20 before... Uh, you come back here and start doing all of these dungeons. I think that's just a Temple of Ba. in there. Okay, so I need to go clean up all of these mage, mage corpses. And there was a chest over here too. There's one of those obelisks. Let's go add that to our to our mini or to our journal. 